Hey everyone, welcome back to another easy programming tutorial. Um, this tutorial today is to build on the last one I had, which was to add header files to your program. Today we're going to add an implementation file, which is just under CPP file. I'm going to move this up here just to show you the two tabs we have. We have the header.h and then we have the implementation, the main imp main.cpp. This is the main program. You have all the functions here. Uh, you have the headers here. Remember, you have to include header h on the top, and you have header, and the header dot h file has all the the function declarations, along with including io stream string using namespace standard. Um, just to show you what this program does, I'm just going to run it for you. I'm going to show you that uh, once it runs with the implementation file, it'll run the same way. So we'll do dog. 300 bird 300 cat 300 and their bird cat dog does it in alphabetical order to add an implementation file we're going to add a new item again and this time instead of adding a .h file like we did last time we're going to add another cpp file you can name this anything you want i'll just name it um imp uh, it doesn't matter i mean add it and then here you have the implementation files there, a uh, tab comes out. Imp. I'm just gonna move it over here. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this. Make sure that you know everything is. Imp. We'll just do that. Uh, just to classify everything, you know, you want to sign your programs. And then the main program, all the main program is gonna have is this. And the implementation file is going to have all the functions. So I'm gonna cut. This is what has become of our main program. That's just a few pieces of code. I'm going to go to our imp, go down a little bit, and I'm going to paste everything. So it has all the functions. It won't work just yet. I'm going to have to include the header here as well. Include, uh, remember the pound sign, include header. Header.h. Remember, you need double quotes instead of the less than, greater than sign for this to work. Uh, even if I run this now, I'll get an error because header.h is being called twice in the program, once in the main, once in the imp file. There's a way to come around this, and that's to go back to the header file and on top just do pragma once. This, pro this command here just tells the program to include the header file once, no matter how many times it's being called. There's another way to do this called um, if and def and, and if you know that's a little bit more complicated. I like using Pragma once because it's just one liner. You know, laziness for the win. If we run this, let's see what will happen. And there it runs right away. So we'll do again dog 300, cat 300, bird 300, and there bird cat dog. And here you have three files. You have the imp.cpp, header.header.h, header and the imp main.cpp. You see, this is really good for data hiding. Um, you don't have all the codes in the same program, and it's a lot neater. I mean, look, this is all that you have of the main program. There's nothing below, nothing above. You're just including header.h. And here you have, this is just the header file, uh, again, and a few pieces of code. And the implementation file has all the functions. You just copy and paste it. And yeah, today's tutorial was uh, really short. Again, the mine is the pragma once. <coughs> sorry, mine is a pragma once thing. Um, uh, there you have it. I mean, this is the implementation file. It's really easy. You can have as many files as you want. Just keep including them. You can put them in the same folder. If they're not in the same folder, if you have them in another folder, you can put in the whole, um, the whole direct uh, directory path. You can do like C that you know documents and settings, and, you know whatever is set up, and then just point it to that file and it'll work basically the same way later on hopefully I'll show you how to do this with classes maybe structs it's really helpful uh, it's really easy to read uh, and if you want to look at what the files look like in my folder I'll show that to you right now and here it is this is my implementation file folder you know this is the tutorial folder inside uh, my Visual Studio and here instead of having just one CPP file you have one here you have the main program here which is just 286 bytes uh, 
the implementation file is obviously bigger since it has more data and then 356 bytes for the header so you see how small the implementation uh, excuse me the main file main program has actually gotten and you, know, you can always run it here and you, know, you have the exe file but yeah that's about it for today it's a small tutorial uh, hope you've enjoyed if you have any questions be sure to ask and remember to subscribe